Okay. Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel and <laughs> as you can see from the title we are doing something new today as you know well if you're just if you're brand new to my channel you know that I am doing a six month no bad kind of low bad kind of I don't know what kind of bad but it means six months out of the year I'm trying not to buy any makeup and but it really doesn't apply to lipsticks or there's certain guidelines or whatever. I know I did a video on it and I'll make sure I'll tag it later. Hopefully I'll tag it later in this video. Hopefully I'm supposed to be anti-hauling or saying no. I'm just making sure that whatever I decide to put into my my makeup is definitely something that appeals to me, adds value to me, and overall just is needed in my collection. Um, because I do have a lot of eyeshadows, I actually just decluttered some and I will be doing a video about that. But basically, um, what is coming out, I'm just trying not to really buy it. I'm trying to shop my stash. I'm trying to get other creative ideas. I'm trying to look at other inspirations. Just so I won't buy any more makeup because I really do have a lot. And sometimes I even forget about the makeup that I have because... I'm not playing in it every day. Like, I'm really not playing makeup every day. And that's the level that I want to get to. I want to at least be doing my makeup at least five times out of the week instead of just one. So, yeah. And you already know, like, I'm a really... Like, you haven't seen color on my channel for, like, a long time. Like, I haven't done color in, like, two or three weeks. And before that, I really wasn't posting it like that. Because for whatever reason, like, I'm in a really natural vibes but like i'm kind of in natural vibes right now but i know when to do the color and when to not do the color let's get right into this today i'm post okay so today i'm supposed to be um well i'm going to look through all the releases that are coming out and just basically giving you my insight on them as a small youtuber as a person that is trying not to buy any more makeup that is a person that you know just blah 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 okay well let's talk about the first thing this is okay so now what i'm going to talk about first hopefully i put it here is the morphe 39s palette the gem artistry palette it's basically a, a palette that's full of purples and burgundies and just different versions of purple there are some browns in here to keep it like a neutral or whatever but overall it's a, supposed to be a purple palette i did this look today and hopefully i already posted it because i was almost this close to buying it because i was telling myself i didn't really have that many purples in my collection but i actually do but i just don't do purple looks like that so once i realized that I was like, I don't need a palette because I really don't do purple looks like that. But this palette was definitely intriguing, especially when you keep seeing it over and over again on your social media. Like, that's literally how I got conned into doing, um, buying a lot of my eyeshadows that I have now. I just constantly saw people playing with it, just constantly saw it. And then a visual while, it just ran away. It died down. So, that's that's basically what i'm gonna do with this palette i'm just let it die down this palette was 35 dollars but it's actually cheaper than what the james charles palette was i don't know why but it just is but yeah that's basically how i feel about that i'm not getting it let's talk about the anastasia and Alyssa Edwards palette that's coming out and you know when it first dropped I was like I'm getting it I'm getting it I'm getting it fuck all my no buy fuck it all because I'm not supposed to buy any more makeup until August well I'm not supposed to buy any more eyeshadow palettes until August so right now I have survived it's been a month I haven't bought any so June July August that is f four months so technically that will be seven months all together that I haven't bought makeup but I know I'm gonna keep going or whatever because I just really don't need any more makeup but you know it's stuff intriguing I'm gonna buy it Ugh. but this Alyssa Edwards one I was like yeah you know what da, 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 da. I will get it but then after looking at it more and more just you know because once they announced stuff, they just post a whole bunch of stuff I was like I have these colors 
I just don't have them all in the same palette but overall i do have these colors especially the purple that's in here or the shimmer called ddg i don't know what that means but i have that color and i feel like it's in my juvia's place masquerade chai or whatever this is what i'm thinking of chi i feel like that's the same color or either i can mix these two colors and get that color like i have it and even if I got that palette, I want to use it because I don't use those colors now in the Juvia's Place palette, like, at all. I don't think about that color, like, at all. Like, I just don't. Like, I don't think about, oh, like, how I'm going to blend it out or where I'm going to put it out or how I'm going to use it all over my lid, da, da 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 I did think about, like, okay, what if I took that color and, like, put it with the purple that's in there called Belief? If I don't do that now, I'm not going to do it at all. Um, usually when I look at the eyeshadow palette, I think to myself, I gotta at least think of four to five looks with it. If I can't do that, then I'm not getting it. And honestly, I didn't want to think of one. Well, I thought of one, but that was literally it. So, so then I told myself, I don't need that palette. Also, this palette is $45. It's limited edition, and I love Alyssa Edwards, but I have these colors. Next this made me almost break my no buy but we have the oceanic palette by ace Bute. i love ace Bute. they are absolutely doing the damn thing when they come up with eyeshadow looks but i looked at this palette i looked at it closely i looked at it even more i zoomed in i looked at it i thought about it and honestly these colors i have within the playful palette my lust in my licking lash look that's why i couldn't get it because it's not the fucking name but i have these colors within my licking lash these uh bright the bright green and the blue side of here the dark blue that's well there's not a dark blue in here but i definitely know where i can get the dark blue from um that teal called Mykonos. Hey, Mykonos. It reminds me also, this palette... Okay, so obviously the greens in here remind me of... I can basically just get that green from this, this palette. But overall, this palette also reminds me of Jeffree Star's blush... Not blush, again, Blue Blood palette, which I do have also. And I haven't really reached for it in a while. And I don't really feel like I should be adding more blue or tills into my life if i'm not really using them like that and granted you know i can think of a blue look all the freaking time i thought of a blue look the other day and i'm pretty sure i will record that video but i just don't need to bring more into my life because i know that after a while like i'll be changing my mind about blues or whatever and probably will go more into reds and i'm already feeling that way because like i did have a blue face like i had a blue face y'all and after that went natural now i'm starting to get like a color phase again and that color phase is like berries and cranberries i already know it it's coming so <laughs> prepare to see more videos of that but yeah i just decided that um this palette is 38.99 not a bad price for it at all and i know the quality is good because it's going to be indie makeup so yeah but i literally have my licking lash palette and then I have my blue blue blood palette by Jeffree Star. And then um yeah, I just don't need any more blues or tails in my life. So speaking of cranberries, we have here the Natasha Denona Sunrise palette. And oh my god, looking at this palette, I'm just thinking I freaking love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And you're probably like, what? It's a basic ass palette. I tell you right now, I'm going through a natural stage, but this basic ass, cranberry ass, berry ass palette that's like loaded with shimmers and a couple of mattes. Um, it looks like it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven mattes and the rest are shimmers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so eight. Eight of them are shimmers. Seven of them are mattes. Am I even doing that right? Whatever. <laughs> I said my comment, but I fucking want it. I so want it so bad. But when I saw it, I was like, if it's $129, like I was really debating on spending that. I was like, ugh, I might spend it. And then I saw that it was $65. So 
that hurt me even more because I'm like $65. I can pay that. And then I was like, okay, well, why am I willing to pay $65 for that palette? But I wasn't willing to pay $65 for the Huda Beauty's new palette. And that's because when I look at the new palette by Huda Beauty, I only thought of like three looks with it because there weren't that many deep, deep colors in there that I thought could work on my skin tone. And even watching other people's videos, like, like literally were just using the dark purple that was in there. And, you know, that was it. Every look was looking the same, honestly. But I feel like with this palette, I can get so many looks out of it. Like, looking at it, I can think of a good amount. A good amount. Especially with Clove, which is the dark purple that's in there. Or dark burgundy that's in there. And Car Carnelian. Well, they're fucking beautiful, man. I definitely am thinking about looks with this. I definitely love the shimmers that are in it, especially Day Spring. Oh my freaking god, Day Spring looks beautiful. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm still debating if I want to pick this up. Like I said, I'm not really supposed to be buying any more eyeshadow until. I shot until August. So maybe I'll just put like that money away because I'm seeing that it's not limited edition. So it's actually permanent, which isn't bad. So b probably by August, probably by my birthday or whatever, because that's when I'm supposed to stop August 12th, <laughs> my birthday. Um, I'm getting off my low buy or I'm getting off this no buy for the next three months of eyeshadows. So yeah, maybe in the meantime too. I don't know. I'm going to put it in my archives. I'm going to save it to my collection. And if in three months I think about it again, then I'll think about it. Alright, next. How many have we done? Like three, four, whatever. Next, we're going to talk about Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. So, Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. Uh, um, yeah. She put out nudes, y'all. Nudes. I should have known it should have been that. Like, lipstick star nude. And they're actually lipsticks. They're not liquid lipsticks. They're not lip glosses. Actual lipsticks. And I actually love lipsticks. I hate liquid lipsticks. I freaking hate it. Except for my Jeffree Star ones. Those are like different. It's like on a different level. But I love lipsticks. Like me wearing my MAC lipsticks all the time. Yeah. And then a gloss on top. Yeah. And we, we, me and Jacqueline, we vibe like that. She knows like what I want. Along with other creators, with Miss Bente Vegas, who I also watch on Instagram, she does the same thing. She wears a lipstick and then a gloss of work. And I swear to God, it's just so much better. So much better. But anyway, she just came out with her video and says that basically she's she's dropping news, 20 news. And I was like, I'm getting them all. But I was like, no, she can't get them all. So I'm getting at least three. I'm getting at least three. I know I am. I'm getting at least three. I won't spend any more than fifty dollars. And they're eighteen dollars a piece. If I get two. If I get three. What is that? Three. Twenty one. Wait. Can't do math right now. Fifty four. Okay, maybe I'll just pick up two. So I'm gonna pick up two. <laughs> yeah, I loved it. Um there was one in there called Hot Toddy. Yeah, see that's the bitch. I'm gonna get that one along with mom like those two i know for sure i'm gonna get because i love how mom was it was not a new but it was like a pink but i know how i can do it finesse it were to make it like a nude for the day yep the colors are just so nice and it's probably like oh man you have so many news i know i have so many news I know how many nudes I have. I literally have a whole container of lipsticks right now. They are basically just nudes. And I still want more every day. I freaking love nude lips. Because I just love putting them on and then adding a gloss. And like and making my lips look so much fuller. Like so much fuller. It's like my lips but better. It's like my lips but better. So I love a nude. And the fact that she's coming out with 20 nudes is just everything and i'm probably gonna be like every month just order a new one just until they all get here i freaking love news so you feel my stance on that um 
the Juvia's Place foundations and concealers. I want these. I definitely know I'm going to get them. But I want to wait until they come to Ulta so I can definitely color match myself better. Um, I was trying to color match myself on the site, but I felt like it wasn't really um, accurate enough, if that makes any sense. Like, I looked at the details, I looked at the pictures, I looked at the swatches, and I still was like, I'm going to wait till I get in the store. And it's not that really bad. Um, I like what everybody's doing these. See, the difference between these and the, what was the other four, Morphe ones that came out? The foundation looked like it's still skin, even though it's really full coverage. And that's what I'm loving about the reviews that I'm seeing. It still looks like skin. With the Morphe one, it looks like dry. It was just dry and there were too many complaints about it, especially with it just doing all these other weird things or whatever. So, with these, I'm just, I'm not seeing anybody, like, oxidizing. I'm seeing the concealer be really creamy, really smooth, really full coverage too, but still, like, looking like skin. It gave them that glow underneath or whatever. Um, they, it just was looking like skin at the end of the day. So, I know for sure that once it comes to Ulta, I am going to pick these up. And I don't mind it or whatever because with my foundation, I'm actually using it and i'm actually going through it and i'm actually using it so adding another foundation to my collection i really don't mind because i'm actually using my foundation even if it's just like see like if i'm going to work and it's really natural and simple like i'm using foundation some mascara and lip gloss and going out the door i'm using my foundation i want the honest house of the beverly heroes shimmering body oil i saw Oh my god, what was her name? I saw somebody spritz it on themselves, just, just do it all in this area. And there, as soon as she spritzed it, she even rub it in. Yeah, I was like, ah, ah that's me. I need that. Yo, I don't know how much it is either. Let me find it. $38. That's not even bad. Compared to the, the lava, body lava by Fenty Beauty, which I love that too. That was giving me vibes too, but I heard that sticky. But I really don't care. But I was just not willing to pay 50 something dollars for a body lava. So this shimmering body oil by Anastasia is $38. It has coconut and a vanilla scent. And dries, it dries like a dry body oil. Yes! Okay. I freaking want it. I'm going to be showing this skin this summer. I better shoot. I'm about to get this body snatched. I better be, better be showing this body off. Okay. All right, so yeah, back to it. This is just a quick no. Definitely not doing it. Definitely not buying it. Definitely not eyeing it. Definitely not doing it at all. So, one, we have the NYS and the Curia palette. It's a 10 pan palette for $25. Not buying it. Can't do anything with it. I love a Curia, but I can't do that. Next, we have Hue Beauty, Resting Bitch Face. And her tan contours and whatever she's or her lip bullets, whatever she's fucking releasing, not doing it either. No offense to Hugh Beauty, yes, it is offense to Hugh Beauty, but I'm just I just don't fuck with her anymore. Oh, she even like released a neon bomb. Listen, this bitch is putting out too much shit back to back. Bitch face, tan contour, neon eyeshadow palettes. She's almost like ColourPop. Speaking of ColourPop, they just released another fucking palette called um, Blue Moon. I'm blue blue palette and along with their watermelon palette not doing it either i love color pop but for some reason i cannot make an order i cannot make a purchase the last purchase i made was recently and it was their uh, makeup shayla uh, collaboration again and i only bought it because i wanted a new lip liner she came with a new lip liner called bff4 which is a darker brown it reminds me of cork by mac and it's cheaper. It was like five, six. It was six dollars. I picked up two of them. That was it. Beyond that, I did not buy. I did not want anything else. I did get her lipstick because you know it was good and it was a nude. Yes, it's called Strip Down. Yep. So I bought that, and literally that's it. I just keep going back to the site. I keep thinking of stuff, and I just keep closing out. I cannot buy from them. For whatever reason, it has to really intrigue me. Because they really release something every freaking week, every single day, every single something. It's always something. And I cannot do it. Kylie Skin, not doing it. Her sister, Kim, 
not doing it. I'm not doing the wedding collection either. Yeah, you guys, that is literally it. I'm done with this video. Like, if you like what I watch you today, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Also, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Just let me know that you actually like the content that I put out today. And also, leave me a comment, too, if you agree with some of the things that I say I um, am going to buy, not going to buy, what I feel about it, you know, everything else in between. All right, you guys, thank you and have a good day. Bye.